Ah. Got a pin! I got a pin! Ow! All right! Yeah! Okay, shake it off, shake it off, shake off everything you brought into the RTM by. Shake off all the bad stuff, only leave shake the good so stuff. Shake so fast that the camera can't catch your face. Ah! Oh, that felt, that felt good. <laughs> Really oh good. god, <laughs> that like made me cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no! Should we talk about all the, the times we've cried this week? All the last times we cried and why we cried? Uh, Have oh, I actually had a moment where I almost cried this week. I actually did, I didn't cry. I don't. It takes a lot to get me to cry, but I almost did. I was watching New one segment <laughs> called No Fear for Tears. <laughs> yeah, I'm cry babies, try yeah. some cheers. Cry babies. Uh, all right, for Crybabies this week, I was watching, uh, I was going through Disney Plus's Pixar shorts that they have. Funny enough, I watched the the coming out of the closet video. That didn't make me cry. But then I rewatched Kit Bull, which is a story about the kitten that befriends the, the fighting pit bull one. And that one got me going uh, at the very end when this when the happy ending happens. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that hit a chord. Cool. Yep, Aww. it'll do it. There you go. I cried over the weekend uh, because I had a lot of uh, anxiety about like some work projects that I'm working on. That's not great. <laughs> so <laughs> I won. <laughs> Yay. Just two bags on your shoulders. There you go. Ooh, yeah. Christopher, what'd you do? What'd you cry? Uh, I don't cry, John. Like not cry. that's not me being I don't I would, cry John I do not cry I do, I do not, not have emotions I don't cry John I, I, I painted and cleaned out all my closets and at one point when all my everything was pulled out of every single closet at my place I uh, had a minor panic attack because I was like I have too much shit I don't know what to do with it did you so, that's scream that's showing I'm emotion sorry, Mama. and just feeling no I just had a couple of beers <laughs> <laughs> hey kids don't use alcohol as a coping yeah mechanism. that's a good message <laughs> I didn't have a beer. I had a uh, apple juice. A yoga. Hey, Chris, a beer's fine as long as you're not drowning your sorrows. Barb. Uh, I basically so last week was I don't know why it was just like a really difficult week and I think any time I wasn't on camera I was crying. <laughs> mm -hmm. So no. it was a it was a lot of crying. Oh week. man, yeah. this segment was fun. This segment was fun. We should Please, do this we'll segment. Any of it. All the time. Well, let's 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 read some comments. I got some comments for you guys. Where'd you get the comments I, from? I have pulled them all from the roosterteeth.com website. Yep. If you're watching this on YouTube, we're streaming all the time at roosterteeth.com. It is free for everybody. RTTV is our streaming channel, and we also post all of our videos to our our roosterteeth.com, and we have comment section in there, and we love and pulling comments from that John, community. John. Yeah. When you were saying that we're streaming all the time, you did like the. Did that motion. Streaming all the Make it rain. You were making it rain and you're like, we're streaming we're it all rain the time. Content. We're streaming live content you to go. you guys for free all the time. We're making the live content rain on you all the time. So uh, this one comes from the most recent, I might have been last week's, Good Morning From Hell with uh, Fiona that you guys did. Trixie D. So this is from JN Dragneel. Fiona is just verbally destroying Chris in this. I guess it makes sense because he's in hell, and now I know why. Anyone who likes hot licorice is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Notice my licorice. Candy oh, behind you me. Oh, weirdo. Interesting. Uh, Fiona has the capacity to verbally destroy anybody. I don't think Chris was uh, th Chris's Ooh, hell was yeah. anything particular. I was legitimately afraid of her when I came in to last laugh. Uh, so these, I got a couple comments for Jessica from the big hair challenge uh, video we did. Oh man. People made a lot of comparisons as to things and people that you look like. Uh, oh god. This is from uh, Atlas underscore X underscore X. After just okay. blow drying, Jessica had some serious Hagrid vibes. Yes. <laughs> so this is what it looks like after I'm done blow drying it. it very, I definitely could see that. It was very Hagrid. I went through a lot of different videos, including some of our live streams. So the uh, Wake Up with Gus and John, where uh, Gus and John go to various Animal Crossing islands. This is from Slithy. John, Gus, thank you for reviewing my island. I've decluttered the house a lot. Took your advice to heart. <laughs> is this like Queer Eye with Animal Crossing? Yeah. Oh, what is? It's Queer Eye with the one straight guy. <laughs> <laughs> New uh, show title. <laughs> yeah. We travel around to people's Animal Crossing islands and we uh, uh, check out their island and houses and then we score them at the end and we give them little scores. It's true. It's a very beautiful moment between friends. It's yeah. it's a duo that I don't think the world knew they needed. And then uh, this is from Black Box Down episode six. 
the Value Jet 592. Mr. Mouse, this and RTP Stuck at Home are my new favorite podcasts, full stop. Please keep making them. I just wish they could be longer. Oh, I have yeah. no problem complimenting Gus. I don't really like to bolster Chris's confidence in any way. I think it's because I see him as a little brother and I want to beat down on the little brother thing. However, Black Box Down is without a doubt one of the best things we've ever made and I'm sad I've I, run out of episodes. I 100% agree with that. It's one of the best, yeah. It's just Gus telling scary stories to this little boy <laughs> that's stuck in the recording booth with him. That's fun. I like doing it. Thank you guys. The, the last one uh, is for Chris because I wanted Chris to clear this up for us. We just did an episode of Hard Mode uh, <laughs> where we did Dirty Bingo. X Zackly says... Over all the years that I've been following RT, I always get the vibe that Chris lies about or exaggerates his stories. Am I the only one or is that just me? Am I the asshole? LOL. So Chris, you don't exaggerate. Those are real stories. You don't. I mean, this is your life. Some of them y'all have lived through. I mean, y'all <laughs> yep. know they're true. Here's the thing is that we all we all have the capacity to do the things and experiencing that Chris has. What stops us from experiencing those is this human emotion called shame. Chris does not have that emotion. So therefore, there is no point where his brain goes, maybe we don't do that. And that's why we love him. The, the benefit of not being able to cry is you also don't feel shame. <laughs> <laughs> so broken. You, I would love to go inside your brain, Chris. Nope. As much as I would be terrified, I would love to just kind of be a curious little cat in there and just kind of like, what's going on in here? Maybe but you I would find some <laughs> things you really don't want to see. It's not all bad. A raving review of your brain. Have you been to the office to check for mail in a while? No. One of us should go and either, there's not gonna be anything there because people haven't been sending stuff. We have not been calling totally out for fine. packages for quite a while now, or there's like 50 things there. So that's, there's like this 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 Schrodinger's cat like situation with our boxes. You said Schrodinger's cat and I was like, we should have, we should have been getting these packages. We got this dead cat in a box. <laughs> yeah. That's not yeah, a maybe, don't, don't do that. Don't mail cats. <laughs> Uh, so uh, this I, comes from unless Brett it's the movie Layman. Dear RT crew, on your March 1st RT inbox, you asked for us to send pictures of our pets. So here is a selection of adorable pictures of my doggo named Gracie. She is the most loving and wonderful doggo that I could ask for. Hope you enjoy the pictures. Keep putting out great content. Cheers, Brett Layman. Oh, <gasps> y'all! There's a whole package here. <gasps> a widow <gasps> doggy. Oh, big old folks! I love it, poppers. Oh, Grace. It is a poppers. They sent okay. big old I'm glossies. Doing I'm doing this blind and I really hope there's not like a dick pic somewhere in here. We'll tell you. No, nope, that's a dog as well. <laughs> oh, little babies. Puppy. This person sent a lot of photos uh, of their dog. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He's a little I baby. Oh, he's a good boy. Aww. Barb, I just sent you something that someone posted today in the Good Morning From Hell subreddit. It's a cat named Lucifer who's wearing a Hail Clayton shirt. And Lucifer is the name of the cat from Cinderella. Lucifer is the name of the... Well, it's also the name of Satan. Right. It's also <laughs> yes. the name they gave the cat in Cinderella. I bet you that's a reference to the Cinderella cat. <laughs> oh. But it works out for your good morning from hell. Yeah. Sure. That was, was. Uh, that was... Uh, Call me blue. Oh. And then uh, Brett Lehman for the pictures of that sweet, sweet dog. Once we get back to the office, we will absolutely put these pictures up on our wall. I have someone's dog that they sent in pictures of on my uh, fridge. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. It was the ones they sent in for Cameron, the dog. Um, all right. We're going to play a game. We're taking a break from Animal Crossing this week, and we're going to bring back an old game from back in the day in the office. We're going to play a few uh, joyful rounds of Bone Zone. Bone Zone. Bone Zone. There it is. I don't think uh, I've ever played Bone Zone. Bone Zone is a family-friendly game that you should play with all of your family members where uh, I take each of you that are here in chat with me and I'm going to be uh, rapid fire throwing out uh, names of movies, TV shows, uh, games, video games. You guys have to do word association, immediate response, and tell me who from those movies and TV shows and such you would bone. Oh, God. okay. A perfect it, family game. I would has, definitely do this with my parents. Total family game. I definitely <laughs> play it with my pastor father. Quick word association. No thinking. Answer as fast as possible. That's how we get the truth. The truth comes out of the bone zone. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what that was. That should be the tagline of this show. The truth comes out of the bone zone. <laughs> if you want more accents like this and question marks of what we're doing, come watch Die is Cast. Uh, yes. Yes. Questionable Thursday. accents, yeah. I've got a list for each of you guys, so we'll go through these quick. Barb, we're going to start off with you. Ready? 
Set. Go. Scooby Doo. Daphne. Ooh. Friends TV show. Joey. Uh, Animal Crossing Villagers. Oh. Uh, Antonio. <laughs> That's an art bark. Uh, <laughs> movie characters played by Jim Carrey. Oh. The mask. <laughs> Sure, I said. Wait, wait. That's Fuck the last yeah. one. You you passed the bone zone. <laughs> and now I have to ask, Dude. do you make Trevor wear the mask? Mm, I just paint his face green. <laughs> <laughs> Antonio. Antonio. So he was the first one I could think of. I, I have mostly female vill villagers. Uh, and I was trying to think of like, all right, I got Antonio. He's into working out. He's, got, he's an aardvark. So like he's got this. So, he's like, got maybe something to do places. with. Our very studio. good, very good. All right, uh, let's do Chris next, okay? All right. Chris, are you ready? Wait, say, what, say three, two, one, bone. Okay. Uh, Instead of go. Okay. Uh, Chris, three, two, one, bone. Star Wars prequels. Uh, 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 just, uh, uh, Natalie Portman. That's not a character from Star Wars Padme. prequels. <laughs> uh, Non-human Mario characters. Uh, Princess, oh. <laughs> Non-human. Yeah, there's a lot of non-human. I'm trying to think of a female. Any, any. Word association. No thinking. Uh, uh, maybe like one of those like uh, uh, like I guess a female Goomba. I guess I don't know. Female Goomba. Got it. Famous works of art. <laughs> uh, the Mona Lisa. Yeah, fuck a painting. Disney princes. <laughs> oh princess. Uh, oh oh oh. Uh, Belle. That's a princess, oh. and sh and I said Disney princess. You're thinking way too much. There's way too okay. much thinking going I on. I don't know that many princes. Name uh, one. The the Beast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going to fucking say we that. We got down to the truth on that one. It took some oh. effort, but we found it. I love oh. it. We found the nugget. Prince Eric. Eric's uh, a good choice. Would, would do. So Chris is that gonna, it? Chris that is gonna, I, yeah, did you I did. You're, we we figured out you're gonna fuck a Goomba. Got it. That's how Gambo came to play. All right, Jessica. Do we also do this with you, John, or do you only do this to us? I, I only do it to you guys. No, I got one. I'll do you. No, you don't. Jessica, uh, we're gonna do a word association. We're gonna do things like red, blue. There you go. All right, three, two, one, bone. Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, uh, uh Iron Man. Shit's Creek. Oh, Dan Levy. Well, I don't know his character name. David. 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 Ooh, David. Characters in movies played by Tom Hanks. You know what? I'm going to go with Forrest Gump. I was like, just... Wait, you know? Forrest Gump? <laughs> okay. Um, last one. At least you didn't, at least you wanna... didn't say big. Shut up. I... Oh, that's that better. Uh, last one. Any cartoon character ever. Uh, um, Bugs Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Bunnies. Bunnies fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you were so nonchalant and ready with that one. I was not expecting that response. Me but. neither, John. I didn't know. I just you know, John Bugs Bunny. In my head. John, uh, Pixar movie. Uh, Wally. Uh, <laughs> horror uh, villain. A horror villain? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, Jack Nicholson's character from The Shining. Um, candy you'd have sex on. <laughs> That's not the bone zone. The bone zone is not about what I want to have sex on. It's a physical zone. Uh, okay, all right. Hey. Peeps. peeps. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> definitely very soft. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the last one. Um, can have a good one. You'll cut this part out. <laughs> or will we? Uh, I'm trying to think of something weird. Uh, Golden Girl. Blanche. I don't know who that is. But... <laughs> Cool. Maybe he'll put, maybe Cameron can put a picture of her up. Oh, oh, he will. Sure. Um, <laughs> With yeah. some sexy music. It's 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 because um you're what they call um straight. All right, uh, that's been the Bone Zone and whatever the hell Chris did. That's gonna be it for our TM box this week. Unless anybody else has any other fun segments they want to throw that's at us. That's the end of our TM box. Thanks for watching. That's the end of our TM box. Tune in to next episode next week and all of other other stuff that come out in between. Barb, oh. while while I was painting this weekend, I was singing that song. Are you? <laughs> 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 Someone actually made us an intro for it. And yeah, we should, yeah, they did we a remix. See if we should play that on one of the episodes um, or like as the permanent intro. Well, we will end this episode as we always do with our classic catchphrase that we always say. 
at the end of every episode in synchronicity in this uh all together three two one chris is gonna fuck a goomba <laughs> thanks everybody bye bye <laughs> Munch, munch, this is so tasty. I love dry food. I love it even more than wet food, even though wet food is way more expensive because I like to waste my owner's money. Anyway, did you guys enjoy that video? If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Leave a comment. Give me pets. Yes.